Shalom from Jerusalem. And the week that we are right now in is called the week of Tiferet because the time that we're right now in is called Sfirat Omer, it's counting the Omer, 49 days from the holiday of Pesach to the holiday of Shavuot, the receiving of the Torah, and it's 49 steps into this direction. The first week was the week of Chesed. Chesed, we say, it's a power of giving, uh, it's kindness, it's goodness, and God wanted to share goodness with his world, and he sh wanted to share himself with the world, and that's why the world is real, and that's very important because very often we make an artificial world, we give ourselves you know, artificial rewards, artificial punishments many, many times, and uh, we uh, very much get angry or upset when the world is not working uh, according to how we want it to work, like you click it off and start from the beginning, it's a process, there's a consequences, there are real consequences. Why? Because everything comes from oneness, and because everything comes from oneness, everything is connected, everything is important. Uh, importance of the process, that's a chesed. But in order for chesed to be chesed, it needs the borders, because infinity can create only another infinity if it's given infinite energy. So God had to create billions of different borders in order to provide real chesed, real chesed for us, and give this chesed. He had to create something else than this oneness. On the other hand, uh, the gvura, which is, uh, looks like an opposite to chesed, it's uh, really power to receive, uh, power to contain, to put borders. Uh, gvura is destric for chesed. So, on one hand, but on another hand, you see, Gura by itself is a pure egotism. It's just take, 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 and it's destroying itself. You know, but even if the Gura is uh, proper and contain has it, then uh, what would happen in this stage? The entire creation would be broken into pieces, and uh, the unity will be lost. And it was very, very important for the Creator who is one to preserve the oneness. So he creates the third manifestation, which is called Tiferet. And Tiferet is a really synthesis of Chesed and Gura. And uh, its beauty, uh, it's also called Emes, the truth. And uh, the archetype is our forefather, Yaakov. Now, now let's look at this. You see, when we look at, let's say, dance, or we look at gymnastics, uh, it's, very good example because what fascinates us is on one hand is the strings, strings, the energy, the chesed, if you want, like giving uh, to the dance or performance. Another is a total, complete control of every movement. And this combination of energy and control, that's what creates the dance, that's what creates uh, the gymnastic, if you wish. That, that's, a real, that's the beauty of it. Now, for us, for Jews, God says the dance is really prayer with the entire body. So we pray separately because we want to achieve the goal of unity with infinity. And we also dance separately because the goal is a different goal. Again, using the entire body, using the control, and yet the goal is to really feel the infinity of the Creator. And that's what the prayer really is all about. Now, uh, the chesed uh, uh, the kindness and tiferet, as we wish, right? It means that there is such a thing as the real art, as opposite to artificial art. Uh, there is a difference of real beauty, and, the, and beauty is not skin deep. So we know that there is, you know, there can be artificially, uh, people can try to beautify themselves. And we understand that the real beauty, which is reflection of the spirituality, reflection of the uh, real person inside, it's, it's much deeper right, than this artificial beauty. Now, and, you know, because the world is not perfect, very often we get confused when we see a beautiful person, we think that inside of this person, it also, he also has to be beautiful, because you know, that this outer beauty should reflect the inner beauty, but that's not really truth and we can learn to see that when you know when it's not true now it's also it's a very big importance between people who through the talent 
their goal to bring the uh, people to realize that there is one creator, there is infinity and uh, there is uh, eternity. And so the true artist, that's really, doesn't matter what media they use, that's what they do. They bringing you to feel, if you wish, the presence of this oneness and this unity and infinity in the world. And it's interesting, versus the people who are doing it from the ego, and those kind of people, they're very insecure, very often they, they become perfectionism, you know, because they're afraid of competitions, they're afraid of many, many things, because, you know, our ego is finite. And so when a person tries to bring something out of his ego, you know, he's always afraid that it's not going to be enough, or he's not going to be enough, and so on. It's a very big difference, you know, you're channeling, you really feel a channel of the energy of Creator into this world. And it doesn't have to be only in art, it can be in business, it can be in anything else. And you see these people who are really, really talented, and in their, you know, work, they really actualizing talent that God gives them, and they can be conscious of it, or they can be not very conscious of it, but they're still doing it, and the people who are doing that, they doing it, right, you know, so that's, the ego. Now, it also brings the difference between honestly, honesty and truthfulness. We talked about it uh, before that the honest person can lie sometime to save life because it's, you know, that's reality. Uh, honesty reflects reality. The, uh, oh, sorry, the truth, truthfulness. <laughs> truthfulness reflects reality. The honesty is just to tell what it is. So it can be Lashonara, which is kill three people. Lashonara is telling some uh, news, some juicy news as a gossip, right, you know, but it's a true gossip, meaning that you're telling the truth, but the person doesn't need to hear it. It kills three people, one who speaks, one who hears, and, you know, you, who you talk about. Uh, and truthful person would not speak Lashonara and would avoid speaking, and even sometimes would lie, you know, not to speak Lashonara. So there's a big difference, again, that, you know, the truth. And in science, we'll see a big difference between the true scientists and technocrats. You see, a true scientist is the person who brings idea into this world. The technocrat, the person who very often calls himself scientist but is not, is the one who really takes the idea and then applies it to technology. Now, these people not necessarily need to connect. Sometimes they do, but they not necessarily need to connect to the infinite, all right? Uh, space and time. Uh, they already have ideas. Somebody else has brought it. You know? And so very often the technocrats deny existence, if you wish, of this high reality. I spoke many times to true scientists and I find out that they, sure, they said, of course, that's the whole idea. You can see the harmony in oneness and mass. You can see it in science. You can see it everywhere. You know what Rambam uh, talked about? It. You know, they said that the people, it's 11th century, the people who say that there is a discrepancy between Torah and science. They either don't know science or they don't know Torah. And it's still called truth today. So that's Chesed, be real in your beauty. Uh, the Givura She Bechesed is against proper borders to realize that in order for us, you know, to, you know, to be truly hesitant, we have to pay attention to details. And uh, it looks strange in the beginning, but it's really not, that the greatest Kabbalist, who was the greatest Kabbalist for the last 2,000 years, is really Rabbi Akiva. That he was the greatest Mikubal, the greatest Kabbalist for the 2,000 years. He's the one who had the most smallest details and he could bring the laws, Jewish laws, from the crowns of the letters. And uh, so a person uh, the truly, you know, uh, integrated person is a person that one, on one hand feels the infinite and uh, Hashem, but on the other he is standing very well on the ground and very worse uh, in the details. So, Let's finish here uh, and we will continue with the rest of the days and the rest of the road in our next video.